hello. You stuck up on me there. I didn't see you. Anyway, I'm Nolan Sterlis, here to talk about same-sex marriage with... Me, Nia Lily. Let's be honest, America. And I'm Stephanie Burtonshaw. Back to you, Nolan. Gracias, Stephanie. But for those of you who speak English, thanks, Stephanie. Same-sex marriage is a controversial topic for many reasons. Now, to Nia for more information. Or, information. There are religious values, legalization issues, and people's lack of understanding that love is love. Mad teacher Jocelyn Painter has a few answers to many questions people have. Here is Stephanie on the scene. Thanks, Nia, and thank you, Ms. Painter, for joining us. How do you feel about the growing acceptance of same-sex marriage in the U.S.? Um, I think it's a wonderful thing. Uh, it's nice to see, you know, couples that have been together for 70 years finally being able to, you know, say their vows in front of um, their state and, uh, you know, all the people that they love. And I think it's great for young kids who now can, you know, who maybe before didn't think that marriage was possible. Um, they have the big wedding that their friends always talked about, and now they can. What do you feel still needs to be addressed in the U.S. pertaining to same-sex marriage? Um, I think just making it nationwide. Um, I know a lot of states are moving towards that, but it'd be nice to see all 50 states um, actually getting on board. So it doesn't matter where you live. Um, I know right now, like, you know, if we move to another state that didn't accept it, you know, we would have to go through the process all over again um, and things would change. So it'd be nice to see it across the board. Thank you. Back to you, Nolan. Thanks, Stephanie. As you can see behind me, there is a blank map. Let's take a deeper look and see which states have legalized gay marriage. All right. In the West Coast, we have states such as California, Arizona, and Washington. In the Midwest, we have Illinois, Iowa, Wisconsin. And then in the East Coast, Thanks, Nolan. I'm sitting here with senior at DGS, Megan O'Campbell, and you know that gay marriage is a very controversial topic, so I would like to know your thoughts and opinions on that. Instead of talking about whether I'm pro-gay marriage or against gay marriage, I think a better way to approach this conversation is really talking about how we define love. You know, uh, love is a huge part of us and I think that um, who we are, like the, the gender or sex of who we are with at the end of the day, um, I don't think that that's very important, <laughs> you know. So basically I think that it's very important that we all um, kind of discover and experience love, you know, and, and what that means to us. That's all. So thank you. Thank you for sharing your thoughts on that. Back to you. I'm here with DJS Junior, Susan. Susan, can you please share your thoughts on same-sex marriage? I think that if it's something you want to do, do it. It's and when people make fun of it, like no, it's the same as making fun of tattoos. Like if you want to do what you want to do, go ahead. It's no one else's business. It's your own choice. Thank you, Susan. I'm here with DJS Senior, Josh Dubois. Josh, what are your feelings on same-sex marriage? I feel that if same-sex marriage is going to promote overall equality in America, that it should be pursued and that people who want to get in the way of it need to understand that equality in America is inevitably a very good decision and um, step towards furthering, furthering the relationships between people in this country. Thank you, Josh. I'm here with DJ's junior, Sam Perez. Sam, what are your thoughts on same-sex marriage? I think that it is an individual choice and no one else should have a say except for the person who is there. Thank you, Sam. I'm Nolan Starless. I'm Nia Lilly. I'm Stephanie Burtonshaw. Thanks for watching. And one more thing. Stay, Stay fabulous, fabulous, Downers Grove. Grove. <laughs>